Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another recap of All American Homecoming Season 2, Episode 6, Free Your Mind. So it starts off with, I don't know, for some reason it always starts off with Simone on the courts. Like, I mean, it is following her journey, so it is what it is. But yeah, so it starts off with Simone on the courts. Come to find out she won Player of the Week. And she thought her team would congratulate her, but it's like it's like every man for himself, basically. So she already got Thea because of her arm injury, her shoulder. And then she also got Tootie, who's gunning for Thea's old spot. And it's just like, well, if them two is like that and it's, they doing that negative energy towards Simone, it's like, where's the love and support at for her? But it's like, whatever. They congrat well, nobody congratulates her except for Damon and Lando. And Simone just like, well, dang. When she finally when she saw Damon, she was like, Well, dang, I wish my teammates greeted me the way you did. And stuff like that. And she smiled when she got the text from Lando. And he was like, Who's that from Lando? She was like, Listen. My personal business is off limits. Like, you saw what happened last year between you, me, and Jordan. Like, yeah, we need to nip that in the bud. But he was like, so, you, yeah. So, after that, she goes and talks about wanting to have, like, a sisterhood, a friend, and stuff like that. So, they're standing by this table, and Damon just happens to look down, and he sees a brochure on an event that they literally have happening from the PKZs. And Damon was like, you should go. And she was like, okay, I'm going to go. So she goes. She's like a few minutes late. But she got to hear part of what the girl was saying. I don't know, I know her name because I don't think they said her name in the last episode. But whatever. The head person in, part, in charge of B PKZ was like, listen, if you would have um, got here earlier, you would have heard what we were supposed to do. So basically, they were making backpacks to give to underprivileged kids. And just so happens, she runs into Tootie. Tootie's also a part of the program. And yeah, so she hits it off with this girl named Melanie. And they start talking, whatever. So for the next event that they're supposed to have, I guess you got to prioritize your time so that you can, you know, make it to these meetings so they have like the scavenger hunt of where the place the time and place supposed to be but instead of you know Simone getting there a time she runs into Melanie in the hallway and Melanie tells her I guess the time and the place come to find out it was a setup like <laughs> so Simone's thinking like back to her ways I think it was like two or three episodes ago where she was being mean and petty and not giving what everybody else had to say and she was like real ruthless she was thinking about going back to her ways, but Damon told her, like, listen. No, JR told her, like, listen, that's not who you are. Like, you got to, you know, be the bigger person regardless of how people may treat you. And stick it out because don't don't doubt them just yet. They might be what you're really looking for. You just got to be open-minded and willing to take, you know, constructive criticism and other stuff like that. So, yeah, so she takes that into into account. Um, Cam and Thea, they're away for the weekend. Nico, which is Nate's boyfriend, he's hosting this event. And Nate was present when he was offering the suggestion of what the event should be going on this weekend. And he had some suggestions, but Nico was like, we'll take into consideration. So, eventually, after the meeting was over... Some of the people from the group went to Nate behind Nico's back and was like, listen, what you had is good ideas and we should just move forward for So he also went to go meet up with Nico and let him know what was going on. And Nico agreed to let him host the event. So it turned out to be a beautiful event. I call it Swiss Soul, Soul Something Fridays. It was nice. It was everything. They had food from all around the world and stuff like that. Nico, he felt like Nate was taking his shine and, you know, helped put forth, like, more people to come and whatever. So, Amara, she was there watching. Like, you can tell by people's mannerisms, like, how stuff is going to go down. 
So she saw the way Nico was looking at Nate. And Nate did an awesome job. I was I was super proud of him. Like he did a well, super proud of her. Did an awesome job. He also she also read a poem about how he was growing up and how people stigmatized him because being gay or transgender, whatever the case may be, you know, it was amazing. Everybody was proud of him. Every it was just a, a beautiful moment to watch. Also, um, the boys have a new recruit that they're trying to get on the team named Jerry. And so basically JR and Damon, they're going back and forth with the like, like of who's supposed to be watching the the boy. And so JR takes him back to his um fraternity, KEK, where he hang out with the boys and see a good time. But it's supposed to be both Damon and JR mentoring him and showing him around the campus. So Eventually, Damon goes to the K the K E K, -K house and come to find out Jr. didn't want him around because basically he feels like I would say res I wouldn't say resentment, but he feels like his brother is overshadowing him too much and he just wants his space. So the bro the brothers, other brothers at the place, they wanted Damon to be there, but Jr. didn't want to be there because, like he said, he just wants something that's his. Because now it turns out. He, they're biological brothers. They both share mother and father. They go to the same school, and they both play baseball. So I can see where he, uh, Jr. feels as if Damon is trying to step on his toes. But then again, you know that kind of backfired because Jerry saw how the way they was like going back and forth with each other. He was like, I do not want to be a part of this. So eventually, Damon and Jr. they was able to make everything right and. Damon told Jerry about his situation. He was like, "Yeah, that makes sense. I have a Jerry was. Like, I have a a brother, and we do the, and we do the same thing. So that makes sense. So eventually, I guess, hopefully, with him talking to him, it helped get him to sway to join into school or whatever. So Coach Marcus and Jerry and then Jesse, Coach Jesse, the boy's father, Damon and Jerry's father. He they was hosting an event to get more people to join the team. So, Coach Marcus made a suggestion that he should talk about his mental illness and why he had to step down as coach last season. And Coach Jesse was like, no, nah, I don't think that will work. So, eventually, they had their meeting. And you can see when Jesse was talking that all the boys were just sitting there like, doo, doo, doo. you can hear a pin drop. That's how quiet it was. You can see the boredom on their face. So, when it was time for Coach Jesse to let Coach Marcus talk, Coach Marcus talked about his mental health, why he stepped down last semester, and his bipolarism. Everybody was so commending and happy and upset because it's like, well, you're not in this alone. We're all in this together. So basically, and it helped get their mind right, support, whatever they're going through, that they can, you know, come together as one and get the help that they're looking for instead of dealing with it on their own. Because when you you deal in silence, it's, it's the worst for you. So you got to be willing to speak up and let people know that what's going on in your life so that way you can get the support that you really need. Also come to find out Nate and Nico, they, they, it just wasn't going right. So eventually Nate picked up on Nico, you know, how he did him dirty, whatever, at the, the event. And Nate decided like, listen, it's time for us to, you know, break up and go out separate ways because I would not do my life for nobody. And Coach Mar was there to give him some hugs and uplifting, a shoulder to cry on, basically. So come to find out, everything that Keisha was saying about Nico was true. And it's crazy because she's not there to give her friend the hugs and love that he needed. But he also, well, she also got the others like Simone, the um, Damon, yeah, at the moment, because everybody else, or well, Cam and Keisha are away. So, they was there to help lift up his spirits. And then, also, the boys, they finally got Jerry to come around to the team. And he introduced them to all of them. Come to find out, Simone, she also let the head girl know what was how she was feeling about the program and why they, how, why they did dirty and stuff like that. She was like... Wow, this is exactly what we we're looking for. So um, they went their separate ways. Come to find out, um, um, Simone went to go to her dorm to get her iPad so they can know 
uplift Nate's spirit some more. Come to find out she got an invitation to join the PKZ, which is amazing. So as they were about to leave, and also Nate came to thank her as well. They were about to leave. Nate happened to see it on her desk. And he was like, oh, no, you're going. Let me go ahead and get you right from head to toe. So that was that. Also, Jerry and Damon, they was leaving out the school or whatever. They was walking somewhere. He was like, yeah, this was what Brinks is all about. Come to find out, Lando, who I have not seen this whole episode, he's the reason why they saw his practice footage and they're basically trying to use it against him. But then again, he also came to the same school. I don't know what's going on, Lando, so we're going to see what's happening next week on that. Also, what else? Um, Simone looked it right for her, her meeting. And you see Tootie in the dorm, well, in the lounge room. Lounge just sitting and eating ice cream. Like, Simone said something to her, and, it, and she had a face like, What? Simone didn't come to play. She about to shut it down. Yes. Yeah, so, I hope y'all enjoyed this recap. I believe that's everything that's went on. Oh, also, Code, uh, not Code, Zeke and Amara, they, they want to keep things under wraps, but then again, they also want to put things public. But Zeke don't want to do it just so far because he don't think how Keisha will react to the situation. But who knows? She's a grown girl. She's been, she got tough skin. But we'll see. We will see. And they also rectify the situation that they had going on because, you know, making it public, not making it public. Yeah. Because I don't think nobody knows that them two are dating. Mm-hmm. Not even Marcus. Now, if he knew, he probably flip a lid. Like, what in the world? But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. I think that was everything. I hope y'all enjoyed this recap of episode six of season two, All American Homecoming, Free Your Mind. Um, And y'all stay tuned for the next one. Bye.